This is Twit. Alphabet is popping its balloons. <laughs> See, this so is, many pop. This is this is, this is the this is the Google, the alphabet that I, I kind of cherish and love. Kind of the wacky. Let's try it. Let's see what happened. Uh, the Project Loon, which was named partly because they were balloons, but I think also partly because it was a little loony, uh, was one of their moonshots, the idea to put uh, high atmosphere balloons uh, all over the world to distribute the Internet. Um, it launched in 2013. It never really had a chance of making any money. By 2018, they'd graduated from uh, Google's X, which is their moonshots, and it was made a division, one of Alphabet's other bets. That's actually the beginning of the end because now we're starting to see how much this is costing. It got its own CEO, got some outside funding, and there were some uses of it. You may remember uh, in Peru after an earthquake, they put the balloons up there to provide Internet. Puerto Rico after Hurricane Maria... Uh, last year, there was a pilot project in Kenya delivering bandwidth, but uh, Astro Teller, the appropriately named head of Google X, uh, and also the chair of the Loon board, he killed his own offspring. He recommended Alphabet no longer fund it, fund it and no one else was uh, interested in picking up the mantle. Um, Astro said, you know, this was a long shot. Even when we started it, he, he says he gave it about a 1% or 2% chance of succeeding. Uh, and I think partly the fact that Elon Musk's satellites, Starlink satellites, are going to yes. do the same thing better. Uh, and they're already going. And just the whole idea. I mean, they, they learned a lot, but it's over for Loon. I Tell think I think they're seeing the writing on the on the satellite wall yeah. between, you know, uh, uh Starlink which is starting to actually be commercially usable even if it's in beta, there's one web, there's it, it seems that these solutions are providing are filling the need that Loon uh was addressing and much more. And if it works, you really don't need right. because it seems like it does loon works. Technically it works. It's just yeah. You don't need it anymore. Yeah. Well and also uh Facebook had a similar idea with drone planes called Aquila. Aquila, yeah. Aquila, which, yeah. Which sounds like Aquila, but these weren't Killa drones. These <laughs> it's actually Latin for Eagle, I think. But um they killed that a couple of years ago. Uh, I think Loon also is just like not really as innovative as it seemed to be. Like even though the balloons were really cool, right. it was, you know, but it was expanding, you know, existing it's cell tower coverage, tech. right? Yeah. Which is very different from like Starlink, which is like satellites that are beaming down the coverage to areas that don't already have it. That's why Loon was so great in disasters because it was like, right. okay, the fiber is down. So you're going to use these balloons instead. But, you know, it's mostly areas where there was already fiber coverage because they were just expanding that a little bit. It wasn't this like, we're going to bring it to the masses who don't have any like, you know, don't have any tower nearby. And I think that that was part of it. Um, we read I, a really I, fun story about how the balloons were going down in Uruguay, um, which didn't even use them at all. But they were falling into like rural Uruguay all the time. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. But, uh, Stephen Levy, yeah. uh, writing in Wired, uh talked about the fact that in the decade that, uh, you know, Loon's been around, uh, internet access globally went from 75% to 93%. He also says, and I don't know if this is Levy editorializing or if it's true, the remaining 7% are primarily populated by either those who can't afford the 4G phones you need for Loon signals or aren't convinced that the internet was worth the effort. Like, just internet <laughs> abstainers. And uh, Teller came to realize Loon was unlikely ever to contribute to Alphabet's um, profits. But Teller said, you know, it's not a failure. Uh, he said it was a successful experiment. Um, Levy asked him, what's, what's an unsuccessful experiment? And, and Teller said, the real failure is when the data tells you what you're doing isn't the right thing and you do it anyway. So the success of this failure was to, to call it quits. Is stopping? Stopping. <laughs> That's the success. That's harsh. I actually, I actually, I actually can believe that in a, in a way. I, I feel like, I feel like I, all the best lessons I've learned as part of my career, yeah. I've learned as a result of screwing something up and not doing it twice. 
and I and and I think I think failure is is a is a fantastic teacher. It certainly has been for me. So I kind of buy this, um, and I think the analysis is, is is accurate that this is just maybe this was a something that could have worked earlier, uh, but it's too it's too expensive to deploy to maintain. You know, it doesn't impact the bottom line so much. But I do still think there's something in this idea of of balloons and temporary internet access as as you said louise like in 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 disaster zones and in places with natural disasters or or something else where connectivity is cut off anything that you can rapidly deploy um can be massively beneficial i've seen um i think it's vodafone I, this was must be going back 10 years but they had a a backpack like a cell a 3g cell tower backpack that someone would literally wear on their back and carry around to uh, to increase cell connectivity in areas hit by by natural disaster, so like there's a genuine need for these sorts of rapid deploy but rapid, uh, you know, uh, retrieval things uh, to be in existence, but just maybe not on the scale that Google thought it, it could do with this. Will Rogers uh, said it best: If you find yourself in a hole, stop digging. <laughs> And uh, so there's apparently a few dozen loon balloons still floating around. They're going to try to bring them in and lay them to rest. But that's it uh, for Project Loon.